Good day, my highly esteemed viewers. Yeah, welcome back to class. My name is the main Israel. Uh, today, we are going to have a look at some well selected questions that will help you in your forthcoming NECO theory. Please try to understand it very well. As I always advise, get a piece of a sheet of paper, barrel, and, st and start writing all what you see. By doing so, it will enable you to understand it properly and never to forget. Now, this is a question before us. It's a theoretical theory question, selected question for NECO theory 2024. What phenomenon is exhibited by an element Z, which exists as, you can see the element, this is the form that is Z17, another Z17, 35, 37. The question is, what phenomenon is exhibited by this? By looking at it, in the introductory part of uh, chemistry in SS1, we are taught what, are, what is called isotope. Isotopes are atoms of the same element with the same atomic number, a different mass number. Remember this is the atomic number, atomic number 17 for both of them. You can see it. But this one here is the mass number, 35. Then this other one is 17. 37. You can see. So, elements that have the same atomic number, 17, 17, the different mass number, they are called isotopes. The phenomenon is known as isotopy. You say, remember, answer the question properly. If you say, what are those, um, what are the elements called? Isotope. What is the phenomenon? Isotopy. What phenomenon is exhibited by an element which has this? So the phenomenon is known as isotopy. That is the property exhibited by, a property exhibited by elements that have the same atomic number, the different mass number. What account for the difference in the mass number? That is just the first answer, isotopy. A, isotopy. B, what account for the difference in the mass number of the element Z? You see, this, these are different mass number. If you subtract it, remove this, this one gives 18, this one gives 20. So number of neutron, 18 and 20. That's what causes the difference. So isotopes are atoms of the same element with the same atomic number, the different mass number, due to the different number of neutrons, due to the different number of neutrons. So this different number of neutrons is what brought about isotopy. What account for the difference in the mass number of the element? So, B, different number of neutrons. Number of neutrons. Then the last one, calculate the relative atomic mass of Z. If the percentage abundance of Z35 is 75 percent. This one is trying to be technical, but it is solvable. So how do we go about it? Let us clean this ones on top. Let's see whether this, if this place is not enough, then we'll delete it, we'll clean it up. So you can see this one is 75. You see 35 for isotope, 35, Z17 is 75 percent. Let's see if I can share it. Then, therefore, for isotope 37Z17 will be 100 minus 75, which is 25%. You see it? You have got the isotope. Even though they didn't indicate it, you must solve it first. So I can go to calculate the relative atomic mass. Then, you now say relative atomic mass. Relative atomic mass, also known as RAM, usually abbreviated to be RAM, the acronym. You say for this 75 over 100 times 35. You see it plus 25 over 100 times 37. That's how you go about the solving. Percentage of this times the mass number, the same thing applies to the other. So, it now becomes, let's just do it once. 
you do it, the other, the longer method is still giving the same answer. So you have 75, 75 times 35 give you 2.625. 2.625 over 100 plus. If you don't want to use calculator, you can find the method of LCM to still give you the same answer without even touching calculator. You still get the same answer. 25 times 37 give you 925. 925 over 100. Let's do the first one again. 75 times 35 give you 2625. Okay. So divide by 100 now. If you divide this by 100, it gives you 26.25 plus 9.25. Let's add the two and see. Divide by 100, give you plus. 9.25 give you 35.5. Let's do it again. 26.25 plus 9.25 give you 35.5. 35.5. So when you are doing it, make sure you, you do it properly. Because in case you mistakenly press the wrong, uh, uh, wrong value in your calculator, it will give you different thing. So, the relative atomic mass of Z is 35.5. This is how you carry out this simple calculation. Many this is how you, you can also calculate percentage abundance. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please kindly share it to your friends. Press the like buttons and also subscribe if you have not done so. God bless you. Thank you.